Every 10 years following the U.S. Census, Indiana Code requires cities to redraw their council districts. In Bloomington, a citizen committee's map was narrowly approved by a divided council, and some of those council members will now have to compete against each other in this year's elections. Ethan Sandwise reports. City Council Member Steve Volan hasn't decided whether to run for re-election. He's represented Bloomington's 6th district since 2004. It's a student-heavy area that includes parts of downtown and areas around campus. But since council redistricting in December, Volan's home no longer falls inside district boundaries. I've been the representative of this district for this is my 20th year, and uh, I will likely not be a representative of this district for a 21st year. Volan is one of four incumbents who now find themselves living in the same district as another council member. City Council Attorney Stephen Lucas says when populations don't change much, cities can keep council districts as they are. But that wasn't the case for Bloomington. There's a formula that, that uh, cities and towns use to, to look at the population deviation from kind of the, the biggest district to the smallest district. And uh, we were well outside of the allowable range, so we, we had to redistrict. A city Bloomington size has six districts, each with one representative. State law says they have to be compact and contiguous meaning no snaky boundaries or gaps. Districts must also correspond with communities of interest. In Bloomington, those are determined by a board, the Citizens Redistricting Advisory Commission. What exactly constitutes a community of interest was, was sort of left up to them, but there were several examples given uh, neighborhoods, school districts, historic districts, political subdivisions. The commission's job is to draw new districts that fit the state's criteria and maps onto those communities then sends the map to City Council to approve. This is the first time a Citizens Commission has submitted maps to the Council. The law creating that commission was written by former Council President Volan. I also authored the 2020 ordinance creating an independent redistricting commission uh, because in 2012 it was uh, Council members as, they, as every decade prior who chose the new districts and uh, that you know shouldn't be that ordinance eventually passed unanimously. It requires two full-time IU students to sit on the commission, one Democrat and one Republican. It also requires three members who are not IU students, a Democrat, a Republican, and an Independent. The commission's applicant pool was narrowed to nine by the three at-large council members. The ranking council member at the time, Susan Sandberg, flipped a coin to determine which five would serve. That's also written into Bloomington law. Alex Semchuk chaired the redistricting commission. He says that keeping communities of interest in a single district was difficult while also meeting the state's strict criteria. There were a couple meetings where we were just kind of sitting there looking at the maps, just waiting for something to jump at us, but we were just kind of like, okay, well, what makes the most sense based on what we, we've discussed and what we've seen so far? Volan's home is now in District 4, a mostly residential area of southeast Bloomington, which includes Harmony School and College Mall. That means if he files his candidacy from his current address, he would either have to run for an at-large seat or compete with District 4 incumbent Dave Rollo. I'm not particularly eager to run against him. I think he's a, a very good council member. But, uh, you know, uh, it's more a matter of which way do we want the city to go. Council member Sue Scambolori is in a similar situation. She now has to compete against fellow council member Kate Rosenbarger for the redrawn District 2 seat. Scambolari was one of the five council members who voted to approve the new map, saying a vote against it could undermine the commission's independence. Given that we established this, we voted unanimously to establish an independent commission to do this work, what would justify substituting my judgment for theirs at this point? Volan says this isn't the outcome he wanted, but he thinks the Citizens Commission did its job properly. I think they did a pretty good job. I think they could have done a better job. So, uh, and you know, again, that better job would have involved a district that finally ensured that student representation on the city council. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Ethan Sandweiss. All nine members of the Bloomington City Council are Democrats, meaning that the incumbents representing contested districts two and four will be competing against each other in the May primary.